This lesson will teach you all about metaphors. At the end of it, you'll be able to answer the following questions. 1. What is a metaphor? 2. Why should you incorporate metaphors in your lyrics? 3. How to incorporate them in your lyrics? And that's it. <laughs> uh, number 1. What is a metaphor? The official definition is a figure of speech in which an implicit comparison is made between two unlike things that actually have something in common. In other words, you replace a figure of speech, that's a word or a phrase, with another, which points to the same meaning. Uh, this is better explained with examples. So the best way to practice metaphor is uh, to start with a base word or a phrase. For example, we can use a base word, money. Okay, uh, what you do then is list a few qualities of the base word. In our case, money is often green and has important people in it, right? Of course, if you want to go deeper, you could take into an account the emotional qualities money has, such as the fact that we equate it to freedom, power, and so on. The next step is to choose one of those qualities. I would choose green. After that, you start a mental search for a word which shares this quality. So in our case, something that's green is grass, leaves, football fields, etc. So once you have the base word, the qualities, and the word that shares those qualities, the metaphor, you add context that allows you to use the metaphor. I'm sorry if that sounds too complicated, but it really isn't, okay? Uh, for example, I love turning my bed into a football field after work, okay? One important thing here is that you should warm up the listener before you use the metaphor. This way he or she knows where you're going. So when you say something cryptic, they would have to fill in the blanks themselves. In our case, we could say, money is my world. I don't need nothing else. I love turning my bed into a football field after work. I'm thinking of these as I'm writing, so I'm sure you could write something better. Uh, let me show you another example without explaining. Just, just observe. Base word. Coward. Qualities, small, scared, metaphor, mouse. You thought you were a man, but you're nothing but a mouse. On the other hand, if the base word is an adjective like big, you could just think of nouns that share that quality and use them instead. In our case, the nouns that are big are whales. Kanye's ego or uh, a planet, okay? So if you have a sentence such as, I want a big car, you could use any metaphor. My car garage is like the deep ocean, a place for nothing but whales. Again, you have to lead them. Similes. The next type of a metaphor is a simile. Yeah, yeah, I know they're different, but in their essence, they aren't. When you compare one figure of speech to another, that's a simile. Your eyes are as big as my dick. <clears throat> Your eyes are as big as the ocean. My heart is beating like a drunken tribal drum man and so on. The same principles govern similes as well. Find the qualities of the base phrase, look for another figure of speech that shares at least one of them and you're good. The only difference perhaps is that with similes, you don't have to lead your listeners into it because of their self-evident nature. Number two, why should you incorporate metaphors in your lyrics? The use of metaphors in rapping. It shows creativity and intelligence. It's new and adds to the richness of the language you're rapping in. You show originality and independent thinking. Using metaphors is great all around, so make sure you put them here and there. It keeps your songs witty, and that's something listeners nowadays appreciate. 3. How to incorporate metaphors in your lyrics. What we have here is just the formation of metaphors and similes. You're probably thinking by now, okay dumbass, how do I make them rhyme? Well, you have your context in regular form and then change it in a rhyme form by trying to keep its essence. So we had an example, uh, money is my world, I don't need nothing else, I love turning my bed into a football field after work. What you do is switch words around so you make them not only rhyme but flow too. Um, my humble attempt could give you something like, cash is what I'm after, nothing else is on the table, my bed becomes a football field before I do her anal. Um, okay, I, you know, nothing that I'm proud of, and uh, I'm not into anal, but I'm trying to show you how that method works. You keep the meaning, but order the words around so they flow and rhyme with each other. The bottom line is, 1. Have a base word. 2. List qualities. 3. Think of a word which shares at least one of those qualities. 4. Introduce the metaphor in a context which hints at its intended meaning. 5. Turn your sentences into bars that flow and rhyme with each other. And now you have great original metaphors in rhyme form. Good luck amigos, I'm out. Gotta do some anal. <laughs>